Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. We have already started here. Casemiro. Forward it goes. Modric. Well, that had to be more accurate. Vinicius Junior. Vinicius going for goal! What a wonderful goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Real Madrid take the early advantage. In with the challenge, he's got away. Well, that looks a foul, yep, referee's given it. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal there. Going for goal! That is gorgeous! That is a gem! An absolute gem! Oh, that is a bit special. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go on better, possibly. Midway through the first period, and it's looking quite a game here. Plays it out to the wing. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. It's a promising ball, goes for goal! Good clearance and very necessary. Shapes to shoot! to get it forward quickly. Out for a throw. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. Well, the scoreline indicates a pretty tight game, but there has been a lot of action in it, 
And it has been an exceptionally good watch. The score at half-time, 1-1. So we're already into the second period. No reported change to either side during the break. And it's Benzema. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Out to the left it goes. Vinicius Junior. He's had a shot! Goal! Real Madrid! And again they hit the front. Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Oh, the question, that's a foul. Benzema with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Benzema is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. Well, I think the referee would have told him to raid it in or, or suffer the consequences. Benzema cuts it out. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Brings it forward. Been leave it clear. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, they know he's the root of potential problems, Peter, and they seem intent on uprooting that problem like that. He's gone for it. Fence has got rid of that. They get a throw in. Valverde gets into some space. Real chance! And that would have been game, set and match. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Hoists it forward. Real Madrid have it back and they can go again. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Vinicius Junior, Benzema. <laughs> and that'll go straight through to the keeper. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch, just one between them. How do you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both sides.